Hi everyone. My name is Miss Lizarraga and I will be teaching you guys a math lesson about shapes. If you guys have already watched my previous video, um, I'm a familiar face now. If not, welcome. And I hope that you guys stick all the way to the end of the lesson because we're gonna do a really fun activity. So with that being said, I am going to go ahead and screen share. That way you guys can see. So let's go back. So shapes by Miss Lizarraga. Our agenda today is a read aloud, shape review, brain break, examples of shapes, and a scavenger hunt. So we have five things on our to-do list before um, our time is up. So the standard is correctly name shapes regardless of their orientation or overall size. So for example, a circle, triangle, square, rectangle, rhombus, trapezoid, hexagon, cube, cone, cylinder, or sphere. Um, so we're not gonna cover all of those shapes, but we will touch um, on some of those shapes. So let's begin. Our read aloud is Mouse Shapes by Ellen Stoll Walsh. Mouse Shapes, Ellen Stoll Walsh, creator of Mouse Paint and Mouse Count. The mice were running from the cat. Hurry, said Violet. So you see three, and they're running away from a cat. I wonder if we'll get to see the cat. Let's hide in here, said Martin. After a while, Fred said, I think we lost him. Look, we've been hiding in shapes, said Violet. We can make things with them. Here's a square. A triangle on top makes a perfect house for a little mouse. So see how he has his square here and then he has his how uh, his triangle for the roof of his house. We'll see what else these um, mice can build. A triangle and a rectangle make a tree, said Martin. The circle is the sun. So you see the circle? This is the sun and the tree and the house. Wow, these mice are creative. But these triangles are different, said Fred. Triangles are tricky, said Violet. But any, but any shape with three sides is a triangle. So remember that any shape with three sides means it's a triangle. Fred put two circles on a rectangle. It's a wagon for a little mouse in the house, he said. Two diamonds make a book for the little mouse to read, said Violet. So you see how they're making a wagon and a book? Wow, who would have thought that? Again, they are really creative. They're really using their imagination and their shapes to build things. Wow, look at what they built. Let's read. Here's one oval, two circles, and eight triangles, said Martin. It's a fish. Watch out, the cat likes fish, said Violet. Oh no, do you think the cat is gonna come out in the next page? Because we haven't seen him or her. Hmm, let's keep reading. Hey, let's make the cat, said Fred. Violet put the eyes and nose, Fred stuck on the ears, and Martin added the teeth. It looks just like the real cat, he said, only better. <gasps> what are we seeing in this, on this page? Well, we see the real cat now. Just then, the real cat pounced. The mice ran away and didn't come back until the cat was gone. That cat's too sneaky, said Violet. If only we were bigger, 
I have an idea, said Fred. What do you think that they're going to make? Hmm. I wonder what they're going to make and why they're going to make it. The clever mice got to work. Soon they made three big scary mice. Oh my goodness, aren't those some smart mice? They made themselves uh, only in a bigger version. And surprise, the cat. <gasps> Do you think the cat got scared? The cat ran away fast. What a scaredy cat, said Violet. Now, what can we make for the three little mouse in the house? It's time for lunch, said Fred. Let's make him some Swiss cheese. So they did. Oh my gosh, I love that story. That was a good story. So I know I already jumped to the slide ahead. So now um, we are going to review shapes. And we're just gonna go over four shapes today. So our first shape is a circle. A circle says, I have one side, my side is curved, and I have no corners. All right, let me stop sharing my screen so you guys can see me on the big screen and you guys can see my whiteboard. So we're gonna practice, um, drawing um, the circle. We're going to practice drawing our shapes. Um, if you have a paper or pencil close to you, you guys can do this. If not, that's okay. You guys can just watch. So a circle says that they have no sides or that the side curvy, your sides are curvy. So just like that, it's like if you were drawing the moon. Beautiful, we did, how many circles did we do? One, two, three, four. Good job. Let's go back to our presentation. So again, we only have one side. And the side is curvy, like our the ones that we drew, and they have they don't have corners. A square. I have four sides. My sides are small. I'm sorry, not small. My sides are all the same size, and I have four corners. So all of the sides are the same and four corners and four sides. Now let's draw some squares. Let me erase my circles. So we have one side, we have two sides, we have three sides, we have four sides. Now I'm going to draw a big square. We have one side, two sides, three sides, four sides. Now let's count the corners. How many corners? Do you remember how many corners they have? They have four corners. One, two, three, four, beautiful. And let's label our sides. We have one side here, two sides, three sides, and four sides. Good job. Let's go ahead and um, go with the next slide. All right, let's go with the next slide. So our following shape is a triangle. 
A triangle says, I have three sides, my sides are straight, and I have three corners. Hmm, let's read that one more time. I have three sides, my sides are straight, and I have three corners. Let's practice on our whiteboard. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna count the sides. So I'm gonna draw a big triangle. The sides are straight, and Miss L is trying her best to draw straight lines. She did her best. So let's count how many sides we have. We have one, two, three. We have three sides. Now let's count how many corners we have. We have one, two, three. Three corners and three sides. And are all our lines straight? Yes, so that is a triangle, boys and girls. I think we are moving to our last shape. Let's see. Our last shape is a rectangle. A rectangle has four sides. My opposite sides are equal, and I have four corners. So one more time. I have four sides. My opposite sides are equal, and I have four corners. Let's go ahead and draw that on the whiteboard. So if we have four corners and four sides and our opposite, our sides are um, equal. Our opposite sides are equal. So one long side, shorter side, another long side, and a short side. You guys see my rectangle? Let's count our sides. We have one, two, three, and four. Check, we have our four sides. Now let's see if we have our four corners. One, two, three, four. Four corners. Beautiful. We successfully drew all of our shapes that we are going to be learning about today. Let's see. Let's check back um, at our agenda, how we're doing. So we did our read aloud. Check. We did our shape review. Check. Now it is time for our brain break. And I am going to teach you a song. And I hope that you guys sing with me. And do the hand motions with me as well. So you guys ready? It says, I'm a mama circle round like a pie. I'm a baby triangle, three sides have I. I'm a papa, I'm a papa square, I've, my sides are four. I'm a cousin rectangle, I sh I'm shaped like a door. I'm a brother oval shaped like a zero. I'm a sister diamond with a sparkle and a glow. We are the shapes that you all know. Look for us wherever you go. All right, let's try that again. Miss L barely learned this song, so I'm learning with you guys. So let's try one more time. And this summer, we're gonna get so familiar with this song if we keep learning about shapes. On the count of three. One, two, three.
three. I'm a mama circle round like a pie. I'm a baby triangle, three sides have I. I'm a papa square, my sides are four. I'm a cousin rectangle shaped like a door. I'm a brother oval shaped like a zero. I'm a sister diamond with a sparkle and a glow. We are the shapes that you all know. Look for us wherever you go. Good job, boys and girls. I hope that you guys like that song. Our next thing, our next, um, I'm sorry about that. We're gonna review, oops. We're gonna review um, a, sorry about that boys and girls, um, but we are back and I am going to share my screen with you guys. So after the brain break, we are going to do one last review of shapes. And we are reviewing a circle. So, hmm, what reminds you of a circle? Hmm, let's think. I can give you guys some examples and get you thinking. So a circle, our planet is a circle. What else? Hmm. A beach ball is a circle. And hmm, let me think, let me think. A cookie is a circle. I love cookies. Do you like cookies? Let's think of things that are squares. Hmm. Well, let me think. If I have a house, what can I find in my house that's a square? Oh. Well, I can think of something else, but maybe we have a present in our house um, and it's in a square box. Or perhaps a window, that's what I was thinking. Let's see, or, or, we can have maybe a picture frame, just like this one, or a mirror that looks a little bit like a mirror. We can have a squared mirror. Think of things that can be a triangle. Hmm, triangle. Think, think, think. A pizza slice is in the shape of a triangle. Yummy, I love pizza. Do you guys like pizza? I am sure that plenty of boys and girls like pizza. Let's see, what else is an example of a triangle? A hanger, you have some of these inside your closet where you hang your clothes. Have you, do you guys know what this is? This is a street sign. That means that there's a crosswalk and pedestrians can be walking on the crosswalk. So that sign is letting us know, warning, careful, slow down your speed um, because there might be pedestrians walking. So street signs are triangles, are in the shape of a triangle. Now let's think about a rectangle. Hmm. A door can be the shape of a rectangle. I think all of our houses, our doors are shaped like a rectangle. Just like brother, what? No, I'm sorry, cousin. Cousin was the shape like a door. Cousin rectangle. Or table. My dining table at my house is rectangular. What? You might have an oval shaped table, you might have a circular table, square table, or even a rectangular table like me. Our beds, 
Our mattresses are shaped like a rectangle. Do we see bed shaped like a circle? Hmm, I don't think I've ever seen a bed shaped like a circle. But I've seen a bed shaped like a rectangle. All right, boys and girls. So we are going to move on to our activity. It is a really, really fun activity and I hope that you guys have a lot of fun with it. Um, so I am going to have you guys do a scavenger hunt. So a scavenger hunt is that you guys are going to go around your house looking for things that are made out of the shapes that we discuss. So I'm gonna stop sharing my screen for just one second. And I'm going to write down the shapes that we just went over. So we went over four shapes. And maybe you guys can create a list or count the shapes that you find in your home. So we went over a circle. How many things inside your house can you find that are a circle? Or a triangle? How many things? A square? Or a rectangle? I want to know how many things you can find. I am also going to do it with you guys. So we'll see who finds the most shapes. I know that we can't see each other, but you know what? I challenge you to beat me, to beat Miss L in finding things. All right, I am going, let's see. I am going to give you three minutes. Are you guys ready? On the count of three, we're gonna go, okay? One, two, three, go! Hi, boys and girls. How are you guys doing in your scavenger hunt? I did pretty good. I was able to find a couple of items, and I think I was able to find all of the shapes that we reviewed today. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you. So let's start off by this paper plate. Simple, it's a circle. And we did go over a circle. How about this um, Tupperware that I found in my mom's kitchen cabinet? Maybe you find, found this as well. Who knows? But let's count the corners and make sure that it is square. Do you remember what a square, um, how many corners a square had? I remember it has four and all of its sides are equal. Let's count. One, two, three, four. Four corners. Now let's count the sides. One, two, three, four. Four sides. Are they all equal? Yep, they look pretty equal to me. Now I found this salt shaker. This salt shaker is, has a circle on the bottom, a circle on the top, and small little circles that that's where the salt comes out from. So that's another salt uh, circle. I also found this gift box. What shape is this gift box? A rectangle. Do you guys remember how many sides a rectangle has? That's right, four sides. Let's count the sides. One, two, three, four. Okay, we've got the sides. Now let's count the corners. One, two, three, four. Four corners. And are the opposite sides the same? Are they equal? They sure are. And now I have a really, really cool triangle here. This triangle.
triangle holds a flag. And look, our flag has another shape that we did not go over, but I'm sure you guys are familiar with that shape. What is that shape? Are you guys able to see it clearly? Well, that shape is a star. But I want to focus on what on this uh, flag holder and it is a triangle because that's the shape that we reviewed. Now let's count how many sides this flag holder has. How many do we need? How many sides do we need for it to be a triangle? Hmm. Let's remember back to our lesson. Oh, three, three sides. Let's count. One, two, three. Check. Now let's count if it has three corners. If it has three corners, it is a triangle. Let's see. One, two, three. We do have three corners. All right, boys and girls, count up how many um, items you guys found. I found the Tupperware, the um, plate, the salt shaker, the flag, and the rectangular box. Wow, I found five household items. Make sure that you guys count up your items and see if you guys um, found more than Miss Sal. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.